the Monday of Holy Week, the day after Palm Sunday, when had we been gathered yesterday in church in the normal way, you would have been fresh in our minds, the memory of the Palm Sunday procession, and we would all be clutching, no doubt, our own palm crosses. We can't do that this year, of course, but we can still reflect on the story of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem and the different events of this Holy Week as they unfold before us. It's often and rightly pointed out that Jesus' arrival on a donkey is a sign of humility, but it's also worth remembering that his entry into Jerusalem was unavoidably some form of provocation. It was bound to provoke the Roman authorities and make them uneasy, as indeed it turned out. But allied with the humility that Jesus was emphasising by the donkey, by coming on a donkey, allied with that throughout this week is Jesus' patience. The way he somehow allows the people of Jerusalem in their own time to understand who he, Jesus, is. The patience with which he approaches his own betrayal, arrest, suffering and death. And it's not the patience of a sort of superhuman figure. It's the patience of somebody like you and me. The patience of somebody who is just having to let things happen to him because he's not, so, he's not in control in the same way. And this kind of patience is something of which we are all going to need in this pandemic and lockdown. And so Holy Week can be an opportunity to deepen our discipleship and then also find practical ways in our own daily life this particular week. So here is a prayer to help us, I hope, this week. It's from the Church of Scotland. Lord Jesus Christ, in this sacred and solemn week, when we see again the depth and mystery of your redeeming love, help us to follow where you go, to stop where you stumble, to listen when you cry, to hurt when you suffer, to bow our heads in sorrow when you die, so that when you are raised to new life, we may share your endless joy. Amen. To follow where you go, to stop where you stumble, to listen when you cry. Of all weeks, that is a very good trio to remember and have up our sleeves. Let's make it so again this week.